Physiology is an amazing and interesting discipline. In Nigeria, it's really get, gaining prominence. And a lot of physiology students usually ask, after physiology, what next? In this video, you will find out what you can do with a degree in physiology. And my name is Gotsu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. But before I give you the details about today's topic, it's important to know about physiology, that's the meaning of physiology and some of its specialties. Let's go. Okay guys, so physiology is a study of the normal biological function in the human body in relation to both health and in disease. And for the specialties of physiology, it is broadly grouped into three. You have the clinical physiology, academia or research, then environmental physiology, stroke deep sea physiology. For clinical physiology, it's a specialty that, focus, uh, that focuses more on the diagnosis, treatment modalities and management. That's the role of physiologists in management of any disease. They collaborate with other healthcare workers, you know, to um, manage or treat any um, disease. So looking at clinical physiology, we have um, the cardiac physiology, clinical neurophysiology, renal physiology, audiology, endocrine physiology, clinical exercise physiology, and a lot more. So because I'm not really focusing on the, um, the specialty areas of physiology in this video, I'm just talking about after physiology, what next? So I will not really be going into detail. So, but for the research and academia, academia you get to teach in medical schools, nursing schools, as lecturer. Then for research, you become a research scientist. I'm collaborating with other health scientists to develop new treatment modalities. And the last specialty here is environmental physiology. The first one is securing um, placement either at a hospital or clinic diagnostic center or research institute why still at your undergrad because it's very important it will help you get exposed even before you graduate even before you graduate from the program at least volunteering with them can help you broaden your knowledge in that aspect of physiology that you want to specialize in and number two here is seeking internship upon graduation whether it's a paid or not paid internship securing internship at teaching hospitals research institute can help you develop your skills in that area of physiology and this association pap cpn they help majorly in securing internship for those interested in clinical physiology the third thing you need to do is to go for NYSC and make sure that you utilize your NYSC period very, very well. And especially for those um, going for clinical physiology and research in physiology, you can, um, the PAPCPN can help you secure your um, NYSC postings in the hospital or your research institute. The fourth thing is to volunteer and join a community. Volunteering with NGOs, especially medical NGOs, can enhance your skill. You can take courses like um, BLS, ACLS, um, PLS to boost your CV and also join a community. At the student level, you can join the SPAN, the PAP, CPN, then you can join the PSN, APS, ACNP. You can also use apps like LinkedIn to connect to other physiologists around the world. You should open. You should be open to work, be dedicated and committed, and know your physiology well. I believe this video will be helpful to a lot of physiologists out there. Keep functioning as a physiologist, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.